It's almost 11. She needs a lot of sleep these days. Please, Miss Bardak, I haven't seen her for a week. I'll see how she's feeling. Thank you. You know what to do. All done? Yeah. I, uh, scrubbed for 45 seconds, did the nails all the way down to the elbows, the whole deal. Are you sick? No, no, no. Cough? No. Sore throat? No, no. I just, I just, sometimes I sneeze when I look at lights. I always have. I'm sorry, you better. I would never get her sick. Please. A mask. Got me by the bouncer. She's crazy. She's let me out like six times in the last two months. Every time just to go to the hospital, I'm a prisoner. Oh, it's okay. With my brother It's ugly. Oh. I was looking at the scar anyways. Take off your mask. Uh, if, if your mom comes in here. Shh. Hey, give me a kiss or I'll kill you. Your skin. You okay? Lying about it. Or the girl snuck out and she's lying about that. Or the parents are lying about the room being clean. These are your big ideas? Somebody's lying? Hasn't let me down yet. Rechecked mom, dad, the girl, the boy, the room, and the home. Any of you have a new soap? A detergent? Perfume? No, no. Barbara's really careful about that stuff. And you haven't been outside recently? How could I? I'm trapped up there. You're not trapped, it's just safe. They won't even tell me the alarm code. Just tell her I can go back to school. So we clear this up. Fine, find out what I'm allergic to and I'll stay away from it. Then I can go back to school, right? It's up to your parents, but uh, medically there's no reason. I told you. Could I speak to you outside for a second, please? You know, this is hard enough without you she has an opinion. She is 16 years old. Lie to her. When I was eight, my mom, she, she hated me. I know. Me. I, I, I need to loosen up. I'm overprotective. I saw Funding Nemo. I get it. I don't need another story. You're not just being overprotective. You're one of the most overprotective parents I've ever seen. She has the best private tutors. I let her friends visit. I'm not going to apologize. I'm just giving you my thoughts. She almost died three times during her childhood. Penicillin, bee stings. Peanuts. I've seen her file. Six months ago, we leave her home alone for the first time on a weekend. She goes out, buys one chocolate chip cookie, peanut butter in the dough. She's forgotten her EpiPen. She drives to the hospital, passes out, has an accident. Steering wheel crushed her chest. She ended up losing her heart. So when you say to me that I'm one of the most overprotective parents you've seen, please, please introduce me to the ones who were more protective so that I can find out what they're doing right. She's allergic to having a sucky social life. Give the parents a break. They're just trying to keep her healthy. Everything in here is labeled hypoallergenic. Check it anyway. Cameron. This place is cleaner than her hospital room. No alarm on this window. 
a 20-foot drop. You can get to the tree from here. There's some box scraped off. I'm sure a heart transplant girl swung down there on a vine. Maybe she was hooking up with Tarzan and cheated down by the elephant graveyard. Or Jane stayed in the tree house, Tarzan came up. OK, um, I spent most of the night Friday, but if her mom finds out about that, she will totally freak. You guys had sex? Yeah, but you know, I did everything I could to make sure she wouldn't get sick. Latex allergy? What, what do you mean, like a condom? We didn't. You had unsafe sex? The whole unsafe thing didn't tell you something? Yeah, but I mean, we, we, we didn't like plan on it, you know? It just, I don't know, we're in love. We've been dating for two years. Particularly a lifetime. How about a semen allergy? We're gonna need a semen sample. You can use the bathroom over there. Right, uh, how do I? Aim and shoot. No thinking about Dr. Cameron. Well, no. Uh, we should tell her parents. Why stop there? Call the cops. Lynn is a minor. And if we nip it in the bud here, teenagers will never again have sex. The parents will find out when they get the bill anyway. Oh, so you're fine with them finding out as long as you don't have to tell them personally? Pretty much. <sighs> Too bad it's not you giving the sample. We'd be done by now. You the boyfriend? Need to borrow you. What, what is going on? Don't worry, I'll return him in roughly the same condition. Did you take anything to stay healthy? Something stronger than an apple a day? Is he okay? He's, he's just tired from being in a coma so long. What'd you take? Don't worry, he can keep a secret. Right. Uh... Antibiotics, penicillin, any of those names ring a bell? Yeah, uh, <clears throat> my friend Elliot, his dad had like a whole bottle that he hadn't finished, so I swiped it and took a bunch for like a week. I mean, there's no way I was gonna risk breathing germs on Melinda. This is the one downside of teenage sex. You're idiots. You almost killed your girlfriend. She's allergic to penicillin. What, what, do you think there's still some of my lips? I, I brush my teeth. Think lower and more fun. I mean, it can, you, you can go through your stuff. Totally, dude. There's this administrator here. Whenever she gets sick, she just gives me the prescription. But, but you know, they, they tested Melinda. They said she wasn't allergic to my stuff. Yeah, four days later. By that time, the penicillin was crusting up a sock at the bottom of your hamper. Do you have to tell her it was my fault? No. Great part of being a grown-up. You never have to do anything. 